welcome to IBD School. My name is Peter Higgins. I'm a clinician and researcher at the University of Michigan. In this video, IBD School 324, we will talk about when and why steroids are used and why they are not used often. Steroids are like a fire extinguisher. They are the fastest acting drugs we know of to treat IBD related flare ups. But like a fire extinguisher, we never want to use them and using them too often suggest that there is a larger problem with your normal maintenance medicine. As a good rule of thumb, if you need more than one course of steroids in a year to treat flare-ups, then your maintenance treatment medication needs to be improved. This could mean changing the medication you are on or adjusting the dosage and or frequency of the current medication you are taking. Although steroids are fast-acting and effective, they come with frequent and severe side effects. Around 70% of patients who use systemic steroids have side effects. There are a wide range of side effects from not being able to sleep, weight gain, and even emotional instability. These side effects can negatively affect your quality of life. There are also more physiological side effects such as increased glucose levels, which can put you at risk for diabetes, eye problems including glaucoma, and even heart disease. This is why we try not to use steroids if possible and instead try to use maintenance medicines to keep severe flare-ups from happening in the first place. We do not want to use steroids routinely. We only want to use them if there is a clear and severe IBD flare. Think of steroids as the emergency medicine we keep behind glass. If there is a severe flare-up, then we can break the glass and use them, but we do not want to use them routinely. We always want to make sure to evaluate a flare-up and be sure that it is caused purely by IBD symptoms and not an infection. If there is an infection, such as Clostridium difficile, also known as C. diff, E. coli, or norovirus, all of which can be common in patients with IBD. Steroids can actually make the infections worse. We also don't want to use steroids if the flare-up is caused by bile acid diarrhea or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Although steroids won't make symptoms worse in these cases, they will not be effective at treating symptoms and you will still get the negative side effects of systemic steroids. We also don't want to use steroids in patients who do not have active inflammation. IBD pain can be caused by a variety of sources, such as previous intestinal damage or strictures, not just inflammation. In the case where there is no active inflammation, using steroids will not help treat symptoms and you will still get the negative side effects of systemic steroids. Steroids are only effective against active IBD inflammation in the absence of infection. Steroids are like a fire extinguisher. They are incredibly effective against IBD flare-ups but also make a mess with frequent and severe side effects. If they are being used more than once a year, your maintenance medicine needs to be adjusted by either changing dosages and frequencies or changing the medicine entirely. Steroids are ineffective against infections like C. diff, E. coli, and norovirus, bile acid diarrhea, and small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which are all causes of symptoms that look like flares. Steroids should only be used in active and severe inflammation caused by IBD flare-ups. If you want to learn more about the different kinds of systemic steroids we use, watch IBD School video 322. I'm Peter Higgins and thank you for watching IBD School.